congratulations and kudos to Yolanda Gonzalez. She was the winner of our Beatles contest. She came closest to naming all of the Beatles references in last week's vodcast, and she and her cafeteria staff at the high school will be getting free donuts. We started the year by talking about Aorta, always on real-time access. Was this week of testing a week of being always on for you and your students? Speaking of access, Superintendent Diane Douglas will be accessible. Yes, she's conducting a listening tour. Do you want to tell her something? Well, Saturday, May 2nd, she will be at Glendale High School in Glendale from 9 to 11.30 a.m. and you can go and tell her something if you want to. Maybe you want to tell her change is coming. Well, no change is here. As we've been saying all year, there's no going back. So what's on the horizon as we prepare for next year and for changes to accommodate a four-day week of longer days? Well, Andre Infante in Future Tech has told us this about change. He said, in the 1800s, students sat in a classroom, listened to a teacher, and took tests. And he says, in 2014, we're still doing that. But he says, every other industry has been drastically transformed by technology, but why not education? Well, he says, the good news is that change is now coming to education, and it is already coming to us. But Andre says there's five ideas, especially, that are coming rapidly, and here they are. Number five, virtual reality is going to change field trips forever. So-called blended elementary schools, which combine computer education and human teachers, are already coming into existence and are proving to be enormously effective. Hey, that's us. Number four, campuses don't make sense anymore. Distance learning via a computer is increasingly a more economical and productive option. Watch out, universities. Number three, lectures are broken especially in long days. And he suggests Khan Academy type lectures. Little bite-sized videos are the future, especially in long school days. Number two, robot graders are the future. And Khan Academy, of course, already uses a lot of little robot grading. I know that's more difficult in language arts and in writing, but certainly robot grading is the future in some subjects. And number one, he says, tutors are better than professors. That online tutors can pop in and give advice to students on problem solving. And there's already Insta.edu and Kaplan Kids. So, as we expand in technology, we are going to try some of these. Maybe not all, but we need to be aware because the future is coming. And there's no going back.